I've compiled some of the worst Dead by Daylight takes I can find, put them into this video, so we can all look at how dumb they are and laugh together. Enjoy. Okay, let's start with Freddy should never get a buff. Uh, I'll read the post and then I'll give you my, my thoughts on it afterwards. I've yet to even survive against him. Last match, two gens done. Match before he two hooked everyone before a gen was even completed. Then he sat in the corner, I'm assuming to let us go, so it looks like he is underpowered or just a nice guy regardless. He dominated every match I've played against him, so I'm trying to figure out where all the crying is coming from. When I'm playing him against not a killer main nor running sweaty, I usually win. Please explain the outcry for a buff. So what we have here, in my opinion, is a, is a big case of skill issue. This person can't beat Freddy and therefore thinks Freddy is OP. So to anyone that thinks Freddy is good, I'll explain why Freddy sucks. Uh, to even use Freddy's snares or the dream palace, which are even worse, they have to be in the dream world and survivors take a while to enter the dream world and you can hit them to get into the dream world, but that means you have to hit him first with no power as an M1 killer. So good luck with that. And his teleport is nice. It's like one of the better parts about his kit. But, you know, just a teleport and, you know, some snares that kind of work like clown bottles, except you have to make them fall asleep first. He's just worse clown at this point. So that's why I think people say that he needs a buff. Next up, I actually have two posts. One of them says DBD is killer sided and I'm tired of people pretending it's not like the Joker out here, bro. And the other one says game unbalanced survivor sided. It's just funny to show that both of these were made within a week of each other and how divided people are on this game. Like some people think it's undeniably survivor sided or undeniably killer sided. And I think that's hilarious. It's not entirely these people's fault. I'll, I'll try to explain why. It's because Dead by Daylight can have such a massive difference depending on the map and the killer chosen. So like the pig on the game is going to make it look like killers just completely suck that they're com super useless. But you have like a nurse on the game and then you show that to someone. It's going to be like, wow, killer is broken. They just go through all the walls and down people. Both of them are wrong and right at the same time it just kind of depends on the situation but to say that the game overall is a hundred percent this side or that side i think is a, it's a bit delusional uh, i completely disagree with both of these takes i think they're terrible now we have one of the worst takes of this entire list in my opinion i think this one is straight up terrible is death slinger the worst killer in the game it seems like if you miss the shot by one centimeter they don't get hit meanwhile other range killers like huntress can miss by a meter and it still targets the hitbox the time to reload as well makes him very slow. If any killer needs a buff, it's this one and not already strong killers like Huntress and Twins. So the reason why Huntress's hitboxes are so janky is it's quite weird because her hitboxes are actually quite consistent. It's just that they're a lot bigger than the hatchet themselves. Imagine like a box or a cube around the hatchet that kind of fully encompasses, encompasses it. That's Huntress's hitbox. It's not some like perfect hitbox that goes on every little pixel of the hatchet. Death Slingers is a bit more precise because it's so small and it, you can't really do the same thing for it even though I'm pretty sure they do. It's probably not exactly on the bullet but it's gonna be smaller because that's just how Death Slinger is made. The The big difference between Huntress and Death Slinger is that Huntress when you hit a survivor a lot of the time they actually still have quite a bit of distance on you and even though you get out of the hatchet throwing cooldown very fast they get their speed burst and they can usually run pretty far. The thing about Deathslinger is if you hit a shot and the survivor doesn't have anything to put in the way, when you hit them, they're right in front of you. You've made it so that survivor who was far away is now point blank. And the fact that this person brings up that the time to reload as well makes him very slow, you can reload on demand. If you have a survivor in the corner of the map, you can just reload and they can't go anywhere. The reload's too fast. If you're a Huntress and the survivor is in the corner of the map by like a pallet, and you gotta reload like tough luck you gotta run all the way to a locker open it close it and then run back to the survivor they're gonna be like gone by then uh same thing with trickster the reason trickster can miss so much is because he requires a lot of knives to hit just to get a health state so no i completely disagree with the stake that Deathslinger is the worst killer in the game a lot of people say that he is as good as huntress if not better in comp maybe because there's a lot of death slingers out there that make him look really really good but as i mentioned earlier about freddy uh freddy's probably like a bottom three killer death slinger is for sure not a bottom three killer this next one says how are killers supposed to find survivors quickly when ultimate weapon is changed uh, i'm not going to read the whole thing but basically ultimate weapon got nerfed and this person is just complaining that if it's like nerfed how are people gonna find survivors oh uh, lethal pursuer a uh, great perk uh, i run it all the time uh, barbecue and chili and lethal pursuer pretty much make it so you always have a survivor to chase it's uh they're quite an amazing combo i never had a problem with ultimate weapon to be honest i didn't 
think it needed a nerf just because it just made it so little rat survivors that like to hide had a harder time and i think that was great i never ran the perk i didn't like having to open a locker to activate it and it was just too much work for my little brain but you know i never thought the perk was op or anything but a lot of people did so they nerfed it and now this guy's pretending like there's no other perks to help you find survivors nowhere to hide is a great one especially if you're on like blade or nurse you can kick a gen and then use their power and find like everyone uh, infectious fight is also a great perk uh i'm blanking but i'm pretty sure there's some other ones uh tinkerer will let you know which gens are done so you can go right to the most important gen that's all i can think of but yeah ultimate weapon was not the only aura reading perk that you could run there's plenty of other good ones so to make a, a mountain out of a molehill uh, on this nerf is, is kind of crazy to me this next one is also pretty silly it says why is demogorgon able to set portals right next to gens this needs to be looked at it makes it way too easy to camp gens and three gen the Xenomorph can also do this, so I don't know why you would nerf Demo and not the Xenomorph, because all the Xenomorph's tunnels are right next to generators, and they don't even have to put it down, they just put down by default for them. And also, you can get rid of Demogorgon's portals, you can't really get rid of the tunnels, so I don't know why this person's complaining about Demo and not the Xenomorph, but I'll take, I think Demo is a perfectly balanced killer, uh, just the way he is. This next stick actually got quite a bit of upvotes, and the title is this is probably my strongest take but just to sum up this uh this post is that this person says survivors should have a way to know that their aura is being revealed so this person's saying oh killers have all these aura perks and survivors run distortion just to counter them i think this is a horrible take to let survivors see or like know that their aura is being shown by base kit because i can't tell you how many times i've used like barbecue and chili nowhere to hide and caught a survivor in a corner or off guard just because they didn't know that I saw their aura. To me, the whole point about seeing a survivor's aura is that you can get to them and they can't do much about it because they don't know. For example, if a survivor knows that I have barbecue and chili, then what a lot of good survivors will do is that they'll like start running one way for like four seconds and then when barbecue runs out, they'll go another way. If, if by base kit you knew that I had barbecue and chili, then you could just do that every time. And the perk is much, much weaker. We already have a perk for countering this, Distortion, and I think uh, Soul Survivor and some other perks do it too. Not like those perks are any good, but this, this is already part of some perks. And in my opinion, if this change actually went through, the same people that support this would hate it because killers would start running less aura reading perks and it, they'll replace it with more slowdown perks. And survivors are going to be like, oh, killers run all slowdown perks. This is horrible. So don't nerf killers aura reading perks if you don't want them to run like other slowdown perks. I think it would be terrible to give survivors like a base gate feature like this. So L take in my opinion. This next one might be an L take on my part, but we'll see. I just want to show you guys what this person said. I've just went against a squad that were genuinely angry at me for playing Scratch Mirror Myers. And he goes into detail about how he didn't tunnel or camp. He did, doesn't even care if he wins. He just wants to play some Scratch Mirror Myers. So yes, Scratch Mirror Myers does suck in general. Like it's not a super good killer, but it's still boring to play against. What, what these people have in mind when they play Scratch Mirror Myers is that they're like, I'm giving these people like the, the classic DVD experience. Like it gets like a real scary game. No, from the survivor side, Scratch Mirror Myers is super boring. Uh, you barely get chased. You don't know what the killer is half the time. He just sneaks up on you and gets a sneaky hit and then runs away. It's like hit and run. Uh, usually bring you to an indoor map, which a lot of people don't like. And the most fun part about survivor at least for a lot of experienced players is, is getting chased people like getting chased because that's the that's the part of the game where you get to use your skill so it's the most fun part of the game it's not doing a generator and having to go like this every two seconds just to see if the scratch meter myers is sneaking up on you it's super boring to go against that's just my take if you're under like 100 hours sure it can be like kind of scary like spooky because he jump scares you but for any player with over like 500 hours it, it gets boring very very quick and for our last post this person says do the devs balance based off how many people complain why nerf low win rate huntress and clown i'm confused are the devs just pandering to content creators and baseless survivor complaints so first of all huntress and clown were nerfed they were tweaked a bit and i think so and i think some of their add-ons were changed but i don't think anyone really called them an uh like a nerf and I think it's kind of smart for the devs to base their changes based off of a lot of complaints. Like for example, 
Uh, ultimate weapon, as I mentioned earlier, I don't think was a terribly strong perk, like super broken, but a lot of people complained about it. And if a lot of people complain about it, people aren't going to enjoy going against that perk. Same with MFT. There was a lot of killers like Light or Nurse and a lot of other top tier killers that basically ignored MFT, but a lot of people complained about it and it was nerfed. And I think that's that was a great change. And also why nerf low win rate killers? You know who else is a low win rate killer? Nurses. Nurse is pretty difficult, so a lot of beginners will suck at playing her. But that doesn't mean we should be buffing nurse. It means, it means that nurse should be nerfed because she is the best killer in the game. You know, undisputed champion pretty much by everyone that plays the game a good amount. So that was the last take. Let me know if you like this video and if you want to see a part two. I'll have two more videos up on screen if you want to go check this out or if you want to check out Discord or Twitch in the description. Okay, thank you for watching. I love you.